There's two very crucial components you need when TIG weld it. A big old bottle of gas and a good cup of tea. Now the only thing worse than not having a cup of tea is having a cold cup of tea. And the problem with being a fabricator is every surface is metal and the second you put it down it just sucks all the heat up and you've got a cold cup of tea almost instantly. Now although it is a tropical 9 degrees in here today, this is a common occurrence. Now a couple of years ago I come up with a genius solution which actually works superb. You would not believe how this little metal box of a tea light does a good job at keeping me tea warm. It's brilliant, but it's a little bit clumsy and I think it's time for a Mark II. Now I think it needs to be able to clamp on the bench or whatever surface you're working on, whether it's your TIG trolley or whatever, and hold your tea nicely and safely. So I've got an old clamp, I think, to make a start with. So I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I think this wants to sit. You now be able to clamp on the table and hold your, your tea warmer while you're welding, because it's pretty important. I also think Mark II should be stainless steel, don't you think? And round so it sits around your mug nice, you know, keeps it snug. So, let's see what we got on the shelf, and we can make it out. Hmm. I don't think that's big enough to get a mug in, is it? Um, I do have this. It's a bit big, but we might be able to cull it and re-weld it. Hmm. So I think it wants to be a little bit deeper, just a bit taller, so we get a bit more of the mug in. Just square it off first, I think. Unfortunately, that didn't work. It kept jumping out with the damn jewels, so I'm gonna have to do it the old school way. Here we go. Obviously this is too round, so I have to cut a bit out to make it smaller. Tea still hot. It's even maxed out my little thermometer. You know, use that to 50, I know, but steaming away. Right, here we go. Now let's just uh, weld it back together. Well, that one the prettiest had a bit of a bobble on there, didn't I? Must have been the tea deficiency. It'll do. Right, so I have dressed our weld up and give it a bit of a clean and then marked out using my super magnetic marker pen holder thing. Um, all our lines, cut our handle slot out and a ring all the way around for a row of holes like the same. So we've got that sort of thing going on. Um, I think I'm just going to drill the holes first. Right, I think we want to use a quarter inch dimple die. So that means we need a quarter reamer. get a nice round hole. Bit of secret sauce on it.
quick fever. Quick clean to the inside. So there is one issue trying to dimple like this is these are obviously made for flat material and that is round and it's also stainless so it's very hard but let's give it a go see what happens might not be the best but oh wait did it right actually mm, a little bit more oh no i can't get him in Oh, this is gonna be fun. Hmm. It's not the best, but it's not too bad. I think not too bad, is it? I think I'm gonna cut this out before I weld the bottom on. There we go. And um, I happen to have a nice little shelf I made earlier, though. Perfect. So I think I just need to make a cup of tea now to check the mug fits. Happy days. We just need to cut and weld the bottom on it now. There we go. Now let's just give that a polish up. I think that'll do for a minute. We can polish it up when we're done. But I know what you're thinking. What happens if someone comes in at night and adjust the feet of my bench and it's no longer level. Yeah, my tea's gonna spill, isn't it? So we're gonna have to make some sort of mechanism, I think, so it stays flat, so we don't spill any. Hmm. Hmm. So I think we're gonna need a bit of this. Some 16mm stainless round. skateboard wheel and maybe just a little bit of this some inch and a half solid stainless hmm right then um, I think we need to take the bearings out of this wheel and make a very small stainless steel version of this. So I think we want this piece of tube coming out like that with this bit welded on the top there somewhere like that and then we'll make a little axle to go through which threads into our clamp and then it should I mean in theory anyway Maybe I should make some metal wheels for my metal skateboard. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? How cool would that look? I think that's a job for another day. I did not have an end mill the right size, but that's close enough. That's welded in there now. So next thing to do is make an axle for it to bolt it all together. So that goes on there to that. Um, and what I've got is some nice 12 point high tensile steel aircraft bolts, which look pretty cool. So they'll bolt through there and hold it all together. Uh, they're 516, so I just need to drill and tap this now to accommodate it. Hmm.
I think it's time to give it all a clean up, polish it up, make a brew, and try it out. Look at that, it works. Unbelievable. I think I've done it. I think I have solved the problem. You're here welding away. This is stressful, I need a brew. Still hot. Perfect. Just one last thing to do, the seal of approval. This is probably the hardest bit, to be honest. I hate putting these on. This has turned into one of the best welding carts there is. I mean, what more could you ask for? It's got a two stroke engine, and a tea warmer. Cheers. Why don't you just use an insulated mug like everyone else? Wait, what? <laughs>